everyone, my two-year-old's having a nap next door, so I thought I'd try and get this tutorial recorded before he wakes up. Actually, probably don't need to whisper quite that much because there are doors between us. Anyway, I'm Jason Roberts, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create my Instagram Reels using Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to create those Reels with like three different videos on top of each other. And we'll also do a bit of sound design just to spice things up. I'll also give you a bonus tip on how to make the looping a little bit nicer. So what we're gonna do is jump into Premiere Pro here. Before we head over to Premiere Pro, I just wanted to give a shout out to Aidan Robbins as he inspired me to try out this technique and actually post my first Instagram Reels. So if you're not following Aidan, be sure to check out his channel. Let's head over to Premiere Pro now. And what I've got here is a project I used for an Instagram Reel called Forest Fields. What I've got is four separate sequences. I'm just gonna open up this IG Reel master sequence. And this is a sequence that I export and then upload to Instagram. You can see we've got three nested sequences here, and these correspond to the top, middle, and bottom. There's the top, there's the middle, and there's the bottom video. I've also got this color mat at the bottom, and I just use this to help me check that I haven't got any gaps in the video. For example, if I move this bottom one down, I can quickly see that I haven't got things lined up. Just undo that. So this is the master sequence. If we take a look at the sequence settings, notice that I'm using Instagram's 30 frames a second or 29.97. And for the frame size, I've got it set to 640 by 1136. This is to try and match the vertical video for Instagram Reels. If we have a look at one of these nested sequences, so I just double click on this top one and these sequence settings are 640 by 379. So we've got the same width for this sequence, 640, but for the vertical size, I've set this to 379, which is about a third of the total vertical space that the reel is gonna take up. And that gives us our three separate video sections. Once again, this is at 29.97 frames a second. So all you need to do is find the video that you want at the top and create this top sequence. And once you've done this, you can right click and duplicate the sequence and create a middle and a bottom. You might also have some color grading. I've just chosen to do this in an adjustment layer here. So I do all of my color grading in the individual subsequences, not in the master sequence. That's because all of the different video could have different color grading requirements. You'll probably want to add some music to your reel before you export it. I do this in the master sequence here. And it's also in this master sequence that I add any sound effects. So let's just play this back. You can hear I've got some footsteps there and some music and also a bit of ambience. If I just solo this first track, you can hear we've got some footsteps and some ambience. If we take a listen to the second track, this is some kind of forest ambience with some birds singing or birds tweeting. This third audio track is the music And I mentioned earlier, I was gonna show you this technique to make your reels loop a bit nicer on Instagram. Take a look at this audio clip here. It's like a bit of wind. And at the start here, it carries on. So when we loop from the end to the start here, we're gonna get a little bit of continuity in that sound effect or that ambience. And you can use any kind of sound effect or ambience here. If you're really good, you could even find some music that loops perfectly in the 15 second reel. I'll just show you how I did this. So this is this sound effect here. What you need to do is drag this in. And if we just play this back, you can hear it here. And then you just need to pick a point hit C and then cut. And what you do is you drag the first part to the end and the last part to the beginning. This will create a loop. Unfortunately, there's a weird bug in Premiere Pro where it sometimes doesn't play the sound if you're looping playback. And if you want to make this sound a tiny bit nicer, you can hit Shift D on your keyboard and this just adds a tiny little crossfade. So you need to experiment with that. The final thing you need to do is export this. So come up to File, Export. Ignore this red bit here. That's another bug of Premiere Pro because I've got Warp Stabilizer on this clip. Not sure why that happens. So what I'm doing here is I'm choosing H264. Come down, choose Match Source. Come down to Bitrate Settings. And I'm using VBR One Pass here. And I've cranked this up to maximum bitrate. Not that it will make much difference when Instagram compresses the final video. But because we're only dealing with 15 seconds, it's not going to create too much of a big file size. For example, it's estimating 94 megabytes here. 
So once you've exported your video file, there's a few ways you can actually get it onto Instagram and upload it as a reel. If you're using a Mac, just use AirDrop and AirDrop it from your Mac to your iPhone, for example, and then upload it. Otherwise, you can use something like Dropbox, copy it to Dropbox on your PC, and then have the Dropbox app on your phone, and download it to your phone that way. Or you could use something like OneDrive. You could even try emailing it to yourself, but that's probably not gonna work very well. If you decide to create some reels using this technique, please tag me at Jason the Roberts on Instagram, as I'd love to see what you come up with. If you like this video and want to support the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications, and also feel free to leave a comment. See ya.